Hello, welcome back to a new video. So a few days ago, I made a video talking about reasons why I don't regret leaving my ex-wife. And as you can imagine, she wasn't very happy about this. And surprisingly, she actually messaged me before I released the video because I was discussing making this video when I was brainstorming video ideas on my Discord server. Somehow she found out about what I was discussing and she sent me a message threatening me that if I make this video and release it, she would start reporting my videos. And I thought she was just bluffing and I didn't think she was actually serious and I didn't think anything would actually happen. So I went ahead and I made the video anyway and released it. And then I woke up this morning and I had several emails from YouTube saying that an individual, guess who, that an individual has made several privacy complaints against some of my videos. And this isn't really a big problem. All I have to do is blur out her face in the videos that she's reported and complained about. But it's just kind of annoying because YouTube's auto face blur feature isn't very good. It automatically blurs out detected faces, but then for certain parts, it will just leave the face unblurred for like a split second. And I don't know if that would count as not blurring it properly and then the video would get removed. So I just ended up blurring out the entire video. I just put a massive, I just put a massive blur box all over the parts where she appears in the video. And hopefully that's good enough. But some videos are kind of, annoying to blur out because she's in so much of the video and it's kind of hard to actually blur out her face so I have to blur out the entire thing or just take down the video completely which is which is kind of frustrating because I think most people would agree that my best videos my greatest videos were probably nearly all of the videos where Chihiro appeared in them I have to say that Chihiro did make the videos a lot more entertaining compared to my videos where it's just me by myself but it seems like she doesn't want to be in the video she doesn't want to be visually identifiable in the videos anymore or she's just doing this out of spite because she doesn't want me to make money by talking about her anymore which I think is kind of petty but I guess I can understand where she's coming from. So first of all I would like to apologize to my ex-wife. I'm really sorry if you don't like me talking about you still in videos but I need to find something to talk about and talking about my ex-wife seems to be something people find interesting for some reason and I would like to say sorry and apologize to her and please stop reporting my videos because it's kind of lame and I don't really like having to wake up in the morning getting emails from YouTube saying that a video has been complained about. Also, it'd be nice if you stop messaging my mum when you have complaints about me. Why don't you just say it directly to me instead of running to my mum and try and get me in trouble with my mum because my mum takes all this stuff very seriously and then I wake up in the morning with a load of messages from my mum as she's very angry about it and she's telling me to leave my ex-wife alone and all this it's kind of kind of weird that my mum has to get involved in my own personal relationships I don't really know of anyone else who has to have a relationship with someone they dated in the past where their mother is involved and the ex is going to their mum and trying to snitch on them and trying to get them into trouble it's just so weird and it'd be nice if you didn't try to drag my mum into this mess that we have i really don't understand why she still cares about what i say about her it's been over three years or nearly three years since we divorced and she's obviously moved on with a new guy in her life so why does she care about what i say about her she obviously doesn't really care about what i think or what i say she's just salty that i can still make money by using her name and by using the experience says that we had together back then when we were married and she doesn't like the facts that I'm profiting and she doesn't like the facts that she's being used and this is just kind of petty and vindictive I think she doesn't mind that Casey the Hong Kong guy has all of her pictures and her video footage of her on his channel he's got loads of live streams and all these videos that they film together she's not reporting Casey the Hong Kong guy's videos is she she's only reporting mine so if she's so against the idea of her face being on the internet or in videos then she should also ask Casey to take down his videos or blur her face out of his videos. But no, she's only making me do it. So she obviously has something against me. Also, if she wanted privacy, it's kind of too late for that because everyone's already seen those videos. The people that were going to see the videos have already seen them. And it's kind of too late to now say that you want your face taken down from these videos because it's not like these videos are getting new views. My channel has basically had zero growth since 2020. And, th and there's not really loads of new people coming to the channel and seeing these videos where they can see your face in them. The people who have seen your face have already seen it and it's not like they're gonna forget your face 
even if your face is removed from videos. You know, sometimes I get really sick and tired about how protective people are over their damn faces. Over the years, it's not just my ex-wife who has complained to me about using their face in videos. I've done sponsored videos where I showed a profile of a website that I'm promoting and because it has someone's face in the profile picture and then they found out that I use their face in my video, they complained to me, like that high native video with this black guy called Jonathan. Also threatened to report my video if I didn't remove his face from the video. People think their faces are like some kind of trademarkable logo, like it's some kind of special unique thing. A face is just a face. It's a combination of two eyes, a nose and a mouth on a head. That is what a face is. It's nothing special. Everyone in the entire world has a face and I'm just fed up of people complaining to me about not wanting their face to be used in that and not wanting their face to be associated with this. But then my face gets plastered all over YouTube from other people's channels in videos that are bashing me back in the past a few years ago. And I don't get any say. I don't even get to complain about it. I don't even get to have any kind of rights over my face. They didn't even ask my permission if they could use my face in their video. But I don't start complaining and crying about it like a baby. It would be nice if Chihiro did me this one little favor and just let me carry on talking about her however much I want. It's not like I make huge amounts of money from talking about her. I make about 30 bucks per video if I talk about her. It's not like I'm raking in millions and she won't even give me this one little thing. It's not like I have anything else of interest that I can provide content wise. It's not like it even affects her life in any kind of direct way. In what way does me talking about her on a video that gets about seven to 9K views, how does that actually affect her life in any little way? It doesn't affect her at all. I just feel like it's so unfair because she lets a Hong Kong guy use her face and her video footage in any of his videos as much as he likes. But then when it comes to me, I'm not allowed, even though I was the ex-husband. And I find it kind of hypocritical because back in 2020, after the divorce happened, I just got on with my life quietly. I just moved on. I was with Mila. I was investing in the stock market and I was focusing on my own life and I was focusing on other things and trying to move on from the marriage. And during almost all of 2020, guess who was making live streams about me, bashing me and making fun of me in every single video and every single live stream? It was her and Hong Kong guy non-stop making live streams and videos talking about why my skin is really bad and how my Japanese sucks and how my social skills suck, my communication skills suck and this and that. Basically every video just making fun of me. And now she has the nerve to turn around and start complaining because I'm making videos about her now. So I have a suggestion. If the Hong Kong guy agrees to taking down all of his videos and all of his live streams with Chihiro making fun of me, then I will also agree to not make videos talking about my ex-wife anymore and I won't use her picture or images or footage in any future videos. But I really doubt that they would do something like that for me because they are just a bunch of hypocrites. It's okay for them to do it, but it's bad if I do it. That's how it goes, I guess. When you think about it, it's just so lame. They're happy to have videos exposed seeing how much of a bad person I am on the internet to warn people, but it's not okay if I have videos exposing her or him on my channel. And then they start resorting to lame cheap tactics like complaining about it to YouTube. If she's so upset about it, then why doesn't she just make her own video? She has a YouTube channel of her own now. Why doesn't she just make a video called why I hate Daniel? Why Daniel was a terrible husband? Why I hate my ex-husband? Or why I regret marrying Daniel? She could get more views than I get probably if she started making videos like that. But no, she doesn't even bother to upload videos to her channel anymore. Even Casey has disappeared. He hasn't uploaded any videos in over a year. He's just kind of vanished off the face of the earth. So where even are these people anymore? 